Welcome to Filled with Freedom, an indie horror game. And as the game store page puts it, it was a long drive. You finally arrived. This is your grandparents' house. They had lived here for 43 years, and now the house is all yours. Your parents never told you much about them. You were always wondering who they really were since you were a kid. Maybe today, everything will change. So it sounded interesting, and I mean this music, come on, let's listen to this music. It's very nice. I'm not saying that sarcastically too, or wait, am I? I'm not saying it negatively sarcastically. Uh, this game contains flashing lights. There are also scenes with loud noises. Oh boy! You have arrived. Mm-hmm. It was a long, a very long journey. This is the house your grandparents had lived in. You never really knew them. Your parents always tried to not let you find out who they really were. Christian, a friend of yours, left a note on the door. You should probably read it first. But now, it's time. This is your new home. We had to be in a... I was about to say, it's mildly snowing, but at least it's not like... In the Arctic or something? Also, what is that? What is that building? Like, this is a garage, and that's a house, but what are these two things? Nice van. Maybe this is Christian's car, but why would he leave it here? No, he's still exploring this. I don't know, man. Pick up a key. How about some tires? Or is it... Hmm. I'll double check to see if there's... Yeah, one thing in here... Uh, a lot of spare tires. Hmm. Planks. Maybe you can use them for something. Alright, something later. Oh, why am I getting hiccups all of a sudden? Oh no. Let's see if we can go... Oh, nope. Never mind. All the windows are very misty. You can't see anything inside. Someone having hot, hot, hot sex in there? Like in the Titanic scene in the car? You enter the house. Your new home. Oh, okay, and then it suddenly gets dark. Fantastic. Well, the game certainly didn't take long to uh, get all dark and evil. Do we get a flashlight at least? No. Nope. Some really tall motherfucker, if not Christian, is gonna drive away. Hmm? Or hide in the back of the van? Or drive away? All the windows are very misty. Wait, what changed? Whereas I, like, maybe I was looking out the window and I could use the planks to climb in there to check it out. Hmm? Wait. Oh my. What on earth happened here? You should tell Christian about this. Maybe you could put some planks over it. Interesting. It wasn't in the dir this... Going in a different direction, I was thinking. I was thinking, like, I'd go in the house and it'd become a survival horror kind of game. Is there less planks or is it just me? Or they've been moved? Hmm. Oh, we got the planks. I'd be worried about us escaping in the van and then it being in the van. This should be good. Before you go to work, you should put the seeds you brought into the flower bed. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're still responsible. I still don't know what these are. Like, what... You took some seeds out of your car. Alright. You hope they'll grow into something one day. You had to go to work now. You hope they'll grow into something. What is, what is something? Are there carrots? Hmm. Going to work. As long as this mystery person doesn't shit in my flower bed. Or vegetable bed. Hopefully not. Finally, you're home. You have to go to bed now. The van's gone. And there's an invisible wall blocking it, so I can't go there. Mm 
Mm. Um, the door is stuck. Ow! A oh, big boy. He's a lanky boy. Didn't it run to the car? No. I can fall in the hole. But, okay. No. No. I, I. Oh. Interesting development. I was thinking I would lead him to the hole, but we dropped down ourselves. This is a maze. Well, if it's a maze, again, I'll keep going, doing my usual. Oh. Collect the purple things. Okay. Follow the left side and collect all the purple things. I'll leave the second floor alone. It's making me think it's like a GoldenEye 007 map. Let's see. No. I'll assume that's everything on this floor. I don't recall there being any other detours. I'm just like zooming by it absolutely quickly. So fast, people are probably getting lost in direction. I'm just like... Just going hyper mode. Boom. I know where that is. It was in the first purple room. Zoom. Circle speed! Can't goddamn stop me now. Where are you? Are you gonna show up? I'm doing the doom and quake movement. Oh god, he's gotten bigger! Maybe he just wants a hug, man. Ugh. Zoom. Uh, why would I go that way? Maybe he just wants a hug. I feel like I move faster indeed when I'm moving diagonal, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I better have the key button. Ah, yeah. oh, wait. You just gonna fall, or am I too early? Yeah, get fucked. And your weird oh noise. But what was the other direction? Should I investigate, or was it just a trap? Or a dead end? I'll double check out of curiosity. A weird trap, though. Funny, though. I liked his, uh... His little scream. Alright, yeah, what was up here? Unless this is where they want me to go after. We'll see. Because if that way was the trap, and... This other direction existed... Then I'm curious what's just over here, unless it's... Goes in a circle somehow. Actually, no, I came from below. Where does this lead? Maybe it's a different ending. It's kind of weird. Um, what? It does just lead to a dead end. I'm gonna just drop. I don't know, unless I die. No, oh, okay. So we could have. Maybe the game. It seems really redundant. They like, give you multiple choice paths, but it just leads to like having him drop unless he can die that way but inevitably just go to the right I don't know one way is longer than the other basically if you just go right you can quickly kill him with this button if you go left and you drop down then I guess he does a 180 maybe it's like if he catches up if you only run like this cause this feels slow but if I do this I feel like I'm moving two times faster it's the doom logic I like the sound effects, though. Filled with freedom. A short horror experience by Sarkatox? Sarkata? I'm gonna say Sarkata. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it was short, but... Oh, he's standing there now. I don't think he was there before. Oh, oh. 
And he slithered behind the house. The guy was not really much of a threat. That'd be the only problem. If you combined this... Like, I love this sort of buggy, glitchy audio that with the bright light at the end. I like that sort of the sensation or the vibes it gives. And this main menu vibe, I honestly really like it. But the only thing I'd maybe suggest to the developer is if they make it so the enemies are more akin to what you'd expect from... Um, I'm getting a, a better look at the dude's face. It's just like... I don't know, some dude? But really, really polarized? I don't know, man. He just keeps staring at you, man. Well, until he fucks off, at least. But yeah, I'm gonna have to remember, there's a... Um, what was it? Yeah, the developer who made I'm Scared was who I was uh, trying to think of. The I'm Scared by uh, My Madness Works. Like, My Madness Work has it, so it's like very similar ambience but obviously in 2D, but when you, th if I were to think of this game, this visual 3D style, but the monsters are like how uh, My Madness Works makes monsters instead of 3D, then I think the developer would have really good, uh, her like a horror niche on his hands. Like the mapping was fine, the pacing was fine, but it's just the 3D monster and him waddling with the 3D, like as if he just wanted to give you a hug and deliberately his turn, like his steering left or right, was not really, not really made to really, you know, screw you over with high difficulty. So there wasn't really much of a threat, which is the only thing I would say is the downside to this. But usually when you find enemies that are like from I'm Scared, and anything else that Ivan ha has made, that has a similar, like a 2D, spooky and loud, and it comes directly at you in a pretty decent speed. Like if you've played any of uh, Ivan's games, I'm Scared is just a prime example. If you made enemies like that, then honestly, uh, Sir Karta, you'd have a nice antagonist or enemy types in a game, because they would then much more, like, sort of match the atmosphere of the world itself, too. The 3D dude kind of, I think, throws it off a little bit. Overall, it was still interesting, but if the nice 2D sprite pixelated, creepy, creepily designed enemy, I think maybe would do better. But, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below if you agree or disagree, or what feedback you have for the developer. Otherwise, I can see good potential in this indie developer, and I don't know if they made anything else. I'm gonna quickly double check, though, while I'm at it, then. Actually, they have. Well, maybe I'll check out their other games, but my feedback still remains. But if you agree, or have any feedback or thoughts, then let me know the down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.